Good morning, everyone. Here we're on Monday. Uh, no, it's Tuesday, isn't it? Ooh, because <laughs> I didn't open yesterday. It feels like Monday. But this is Tuesday, and uh, it makes it the 14th, I guess, of, of August. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this day and getting back to things and seeing our regular uh, folks back again. So, reading through, continuing reading through Jeremiah, we're, we're presented with some very interesting things. Considering what I was preaching on Sunday, um, this just shows us the, uh, the, the, the heart of, of Dad, um, the root of, of a lot of the things, like when, when Peter said, honor the emperor, and we understand that at that time the emperor wasn't all that great, and the terrible things were going on in, in Rome uh, against, um, against fellow Christians. Uh, but, but Peter is, was, was explaining that um, God's in charge. He's in charge. He, he appoints the governments. He, he, th those are his authority. And um, there's a difference between being in charge and being in control. So God puts things in place. He's in charge. He, he, he makes things happen. Uh, but we're in control in how we respond to those things and what we do I in those things. So we hear in, in Jeremiah, Jeremiah has received the word of the Lord telling the, those who have gone into exile, hey, settle there. You're, you're there for 70 years. Build houses. Make a life for yourself. Uh, support uh, Nebuchadnezzar, uh, the emperor. So support him um, as king. Um, don't, don't fight against him. Uh, honor him. And uh, it, it, you know, pray. Pray for him. Uh, that it will go well for you in this land. It will go well for you in this land. And when when his time is over, when the time of Babylon is over, I will come and get you. So it's clear that this is 70, 70 years of time out. 70 years of sitting there, seek my face. I'm giving you time to think about this. I'm giving you time to get things in order. I'm giving you time to get rid of idols. I'm giving you time to realize that I'm in charge. I'm powerful. And, and uh, I want you to use your freedom to, uh, to seek me. So God raises the governments and he lowers the governments according to his will and his plans. This is an important message for today because uh, the vile that is coming out of Christians towards, uh, towards uh, political leaders, these political leaders have been appointed by God. You, you may not like it, but honor has nothing to do with what you like and don't like. Honor has to do with treating people as you would treat Jesus. Uh, you know, Ontario right now is, is, is questioning uh, the election of, of, of Ford. Uh, there are a lot of Christians who support him, a lot of Christians who don't. There are a lot of Christians who had a wake-up call when our Prime Minister uh, told all, all organizations that they had to support abortion which uh, if they wanted to participate in certain programs, they had to indicate that they supported uh, abortion. And uh, there was a outcry about that. Um, and, and we all know, you know uh, that there are, are those who are Adam supporters of Trump and those, uh, those who are haters of Trump. Uh, so, so we're looking at this um, polarizing of, of political views. And there are other people who want nothing to do with politics at all. Uh, but these are our leaders. And the word is extremely clear on this, that we are to support them. We are to support them. We are to look for their success. We are to pray for them, uh, that they are appointed by God. And if, if he has appointed them for a purpose and they're not fulfilling that purpose, then because he's in charge, he will lower that government and replace them. It's as simple as that. So just because we didn't vote for that guy doesn't mean that we get to not support him. It's not a matter of God you let us down. The the one the guy that we were supporting didn't get in, so I'm going to I'm going to withdraw my support and I I'm going to criticize this guy as much as possible to help ruin him. And that's not what the word says at all. And and this is hard. It, 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 it's hard because honor is not easy. The things that God calls us to go against our, our nature, but yet in our freedom, because we're, we're in control, so if, if, we, if we want to go against a political leader, 
we can because we're in control. God's not going to stop us from doing that. But is it what he wants? Is it part of his way, the secret way of life? Is it part of his righteousness? No, it's not. Not according to the word. The righteous thing to do is to support our political leaders. To pray for them. Doesn't mean that we're going to agree with what they do. But God is in charge. And and if we withdraw our support, then we have no influence. And they think we want to control them. And when a person thinks that we want to control them, guess what? They want nothing to do with people. We're, we're not here to control anybody. We're not. We're not here to take over governments. We're not here. We, we are here to be an influence of the kingdom. We are here to be supporters, to be lovers, to be, um, to be givers, to be uh, generous in, in all things, uh, to, to pray, to protect, to, to watch over, uh, to encourage. That this, this is what we've been called to. Not to tear down, not to destroy, not to call names, not to, not to, to criticize in that way. It's okay to, to voice our concerns about things. It's okay. Write your MPs. Write, write the Prime Minister. Voice your concern. But we do it with respect and we do it out of love. And, and, and we do it just to, so that he knows how we feel about things. Uh, but it doesn't mean we withdraw our support because he, he doesn't go along with us. It doesn't work that way. Not in the kingdom. <laughs> this is... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Anyways, that's a lot for you to think about. Uh, I'm going to give that to you. Uh, uh, you don't even have to think about it. You need to respond to it. It's the word. Mm -hmm. Search it for yourself. Or read Jeremiah again. Uh, read through Peter. Read a lot of the things that, that Paul has written. Read what, they, what Jesus... I mean, Jesus never went against the political leaders, did he? Even when it meant his death. He didn't stand up for himself. Yeah, there's a lot there. Okay, well, you have a blessed day. Be encouraged. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see some of you today. God loves you. Don't forget that. You're his.